Sri Jaydev Galla. Thank you, sir. Sir, I'd like to congratulate the minister on the positive steps that are being taken in order to kickstart the infrastructure and the ecosystem that are required to bring in electric vehicles into this country. I'd also like to point out that an integrated approach in terms of policy making is required, where several ministries need to be involved. The Transport Ministry, Power Ministry, Heavy Industries, Environment, and Urban Development are just a few of the ones that are all stakeholders in these policies. And sir, as we are uh, looking at charging stations, one thing we need to keep in mind that the charging should be done with clean energy, because the whole point of EVs is to bring in the environmental uh, advantages and reduce the pollution. So if the energy is creating pollution, it's only partially addressing the problem. So what, what steps are being taken to ensure that all charging stations are being, uh, the power being supplied is all clean energy? And also, sir, a few legislations which would help in terms of business model innovation in this sector would be to bring in legislation regarding selling of energy, you know, expanding the number of people who can actually sell energy to consumers for charging and uh, other requirements, and also time of day tariffs for energy so that the consumer behavior will even out the demand during the day. People who can wait till night when tariff is cheaper will wait to charge their vehicles, etc. So these three legislations, sir, one is the clean energy, second is selling of energy, and third is time of day tariffs. Would be very useful, sir. I'd like to hear what the minister has to say. Thank you. Sanmanya Speaker Mahoday, honorable member is absolutely correct. As far as we need maximum coordination between the departments. Sir, already we have good coordination and 100% the government is very committed. As far as the Paris Accord is concerned, we are very much committed for ecology and environment. Sir, this is a very, very valid point that whatever the power we are using for electric charging, it should be green power, it should be solar power. And for example, I'm giving the example, we are making 650 roadside amenities on National Highway, where already 40 amenities, the work has already started. And in that all highways, we are using solar power. In the area of Gujarat, and somewhere in the Tamil Nadu also, the wind power is also available. So you are absolutely correct. The policy is that for charging electric vehicles, our priority is to use green uh, power for that. You are absolutely correct. And regarding the charging stations, there is also good development. The Ministry of Power has issued charging infrastructure for electric vehicles the revised consolidated guideline and standards to accelerate the e-mobility transition in the country. Phase one, one to three years, all mega cities with population of four million plus as per census 2011, all existing expressways connected to these mega cities and important highways connected with each of these mega cities may be taken up for coverage. Second phase two, big cities like state capitals, UT headquarters, may also be covered for distributed and demonstrative effect. Further, important highways connected with each of these mega cities may be taken up for coverage. Four, the PSU Energy Efficiency Services Limited, EESL, in consortium with the Convergence Energy Services Limited, subsidiary of EESL, has been awarded the work of setting up of EV charging station along 16 NH expressways. NHI has also signed an MOU with EESL. As per this MOU, NHI shall provide space land near toll plaza and its buildings for installation of electric vehicles, charging station based on revenue sharing model. The NHI is developing waste and amenities at every 40 kilometer, and we are trying to use solar power or wind power for that. The electric charging station are to be provided as a part of these waste and amenities. NHI has already awarded 39 waste and amenities and a proposal of 103 as such sites are bidding stage. More than 600 sites are identified and soon will be open the bid. Bureau of Indian Standards is working on improving standards for charging stations. Because in the world, every time the charging technology is changed, the new startups are coming, the innovations are there, research are there, and I always tell to people that the innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research skill, and successful practices, we name it as a knowledge, and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future. So our policy is to entertain all new research, giving opportunity to new startups, 
by which we can establish the appropriate technology which is more convenient and economically viable for the consumer. Sir, Automotive Research Association of India, ARAI, Pune, has developed indigenous public charging stations complement with Bharat EV CCA's standards permitted by Ministry of Power. Sir, I will request Honorable Speaker, Sir, now this is the time for the Parliament to, on our parking places, start electric charging stations, Sir, giving this facility to the Honorable Members by which they can purchase electric cars and come to here and they can charge their car here in the Parliament premises. Sir, every government premises we are expected to giving the facility in the parking system for charging. And sir, I am sure that... But with payment. Sir, you will do what you will do. I will request that, sir, in the new building, put rooftop solar on the roof and free of charge, sir, power. No one will pay. Sir, I will assure you to the all honorable house that within two years, the cost of electric two-wheeler, electric three-wheeler, electric four-wheeler will be equivalent to the petrol cost, cost of the petrol vehicle and the country will change. Our we are policy is import substitute, cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. Sir, because of petrol and diesel we are facing crucial problems already we see. So this is the only alternative by which going on alternative fuel that is green hydrogen, electricity, ethanol, methanol, biodiesel, bio LNG and bio CNG. Sir, we will work on that direction.